heard that there is so much power into reaching your highest consciousness. And today, that's what I want to do. So let's tune into this conversation. Sean Vaughn and you are watching My 40 Plus Life and today we are going to tap into all things being our best self, the power of our highest consciousness and I am so here for this episode because I have the perfect person on to share this information with you. Everyone, I want you to welcome to my 40 plus life, Mr. KG Smooth. Hey, Thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me on. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I met KG a little while ago and I just absolutely fell in love with him. And I had the opportunity to join him on the quiet storm on Magic 102.1 yeah. a, a, a few weeks ago. And having you here today on my show is just kind of like full, full circle. circle. So yeah. It was a lot of fun. It yeah. was. Yeah, just, you know, yeah, we had a ball. That, so why don't you tell everyone a little bit about who KG Smooth is? Uh, well, I'm KG Smooth, as Sean said, host <laughs> of The Quiet Storm on Magic 102.1. I am a 21-year radio veteran. I also host a community show called The Public Affairs Podcast that broadcasts on all three of Radio 1 Houston brands. Um, some of you may remember my face from the hit dating reality show on the Oprah Winfrey Network called Ready to Love, uh, two seasons. And um, I'm just here to help drop little gems and spoon feed the people on how they can tap into their higher selves and you know reach that higher level of consciousness. Yes, and I am so here for it. So first of all, KG, I just kind of want to understand how, how, because I know you've said that you've reached your highest consciousness, right? Yeah, and it keeps rising. Yeah, and that's <laughs> great. So how, how did you know that you had tapped into that at that moment? Well, for me, it was a bit uh, unorthodox. Um, a lot of people come into their spirituality um, via, you know, they almost lost their lives, like, mm -hmm. you know, was almost in an accident or saw their life flash before their eyes or they lost someone very dear and close to them and was at a low, low, low moment in their life and had that, you know, epiphany about life. Mm -hmm. Mine happened, it was a cosmic event. I don't know if you remember, uh, December 21st, 2020, um, like that weekend before, because that was a Monday, how um, black Twitter and social media was talking about, oh, black folks, we get our superpowers on yes. December 21st. <laughs> like, oh, when I get my powers, you know, I'm going to do this to white folks and this and the third. And uh -huh. I'm just like, oh, like, look at us being funny how we are <laughs> again, like just hilarious. Right. Um, but, you know, seeing some stuff on the news and just in certain uh, places, they were talking about the Christmas star, uh, which was the great conjunction. It was Jupiter and Saturn being as close to each other in like 800 years. Mm. And so uh, the girl that I do yoga with, uh, Yoji Jazz, I hit her up like, hey, you know, I'm here with this great conjunction. Like, is there somewhere I should be or something I should do? I want to receive yeah. the energy that the universe is giving and give it out. She was like, no, just the fact that you are aware is enough. So um, I saw on the news that the best time to see the Christmas star uh, was an hour after sundown. Mm. So there's a park around the corner from my house. I go to the park. Uh, to ground, uh, take off my shoes and socks, and I'm grounding. And Sean, it is this spectacular starlight show uh -huh. in the sky. It was a clear night in Houston, and you know I see Jupiter and Saturn to my to my right. I see the Moon and Venus close to my left, and in between the Moon and Venus and Saturn was just all of these stars. I'd never seen so many stars wow. in the sky mm -hmm. in my life. <laughs> and so as I'm looking, there was one that was moving. It was a traveling star, and I was like, Yo a plane? I'm like, no, like, <laughs> that is a star that, and I'm just like, wow, and I never had seen that. And then my body starts doing this tingling thing, and, and the intensity was in my head, and then it was in my heart, and then it was in my gut, 
And so I put my shoes on, I leave. I'm like, what is going on here? <laughs> so I sit in the car and I'm thinking to myself like, that was weird, like my body tingling and then, you know, everything starts to tingle again and then I feel like I had just traveled somewhere. Like I'm breathing hard and I'm looking around like, oh my gosh, like what, what was that? And, but I felt so happy. And from that moment on, things started to happen that mm. were just magical and divine. So why would someone like me want to get to that same point? What are some of the benefits of tapping into that higher power? We have been programmed to look outside of ourselves for all of the answers when really all of the answers lie within. Mm. If you just sit still and listen to that inner voice, which is God, which is you, um, you're gonna get the answers, but we've been programmed to look everywhere else, to look to this deity, to call up our friends, to get it, their opinion on something that is going to affect our lives. It's not gonna affect them at all. Yeah. And so, you know, we've been programmed to look outside of everything but ourselves. And so once you sit still and listen, it will come to you. Okay, so KG, do you, do you think that it's possible that someone could be actually operating in their highest consciousness and don't know they don't know that they are or is it something that you will absolutely oh, you know will absolutely no when god chooses you uh, when the universe chooses you or whatever you subscribe to you are going to know and once that veil is lifted and you have on these new pair of glasses you can't take them off. Mm -hmm. And so you will absolutely know. And you're gonna know because a lot of things are gonna come to you. Um, you are going to realize that certain people and things no longer serve you. Mm -hmm. You're gonna let that go. Um, you're gonna do a lot of crying. I did a lot of crying in my uh, initial stages of <laughs> coming into this. Like, <laughs> no, Sean, I'm talking like soul cries, like fountains of tears. I'm talking snot. <laughs> 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 kind of crying uh -huh. you're going to do a lot of crying and um, and God is just going to reveal a lot to you and you're going to you're going to feel that power you're going to feel that you're going to feel it and mm -hmm. you're going to know okay all right because I just want to make sure that I've been on the right path because I feel like I'm make I'm progressing to being that best person fully leaning in what God is has provided for me but I don't feel like I'm quite there yet because I haven't had that experience quite yet. Well, everyone's is different. And mine, how I came into mind, it was definitely, you know, I later on learned that, you know, the way it happened to you, like you're an anomaly. Like if you was going around, you know, sharing this information, people going to look at you sideways, mm -hmm. think you're crazy and right. all that. <laughs> and me not knowing, of course, I'm spreading the word and talking about it all. And of course, people was calling me crazy. Like what didn't happen to KG? He done lost his mind. <laughs> this and the third. But now since we're, you know, fast forward to, you know, almost two years into it, those same people are coming back to me saying like, you know what, you were right about this and this happened in my life and now I see things differently yeah. and, you know, and so everybody's on their own journey. Mm -hmm. Everybody's on their own journey and it's gonna happen uh, on their own time. Okay, so with you saying that where everybody thought was, was saying that you were crazy, a lot of people may look at this and say that this is not God ordained. Mm -hmm. How would you respond to that? Um, that's a good question. It's not God ordained. Well, um, if that's the way you feel, then I can't <laughs> discount or um, argue that point. Um, because I'm not here to indoctrinate mm. anyone. I grew up in the church. Yeah. I mean, spend the night at my grandmama's house on Saturday nights to go to Sunday school and morning service next Sunday, like every Saturday night, <laughs> sang in the choir, you know, listened to the preacher, read the Bible, like all of that, all of that, all of that. Now, were there some things, you know, growing up in the church and in the Bible that, you know, I questioned or I didn't resonate with? Absolutely. But when I would ask the questions and I would only get, oh, you're not supposed to question God. Mm -hmm then, you know, I'm just like, <laughs> all right, something ain't all the way, all the way with this religion thing. Uh -huh. 
And that's the key, the religion The thing religion, versus, not versus the, the spiritual, mm -hmm. the religion, okay. because, you know, once I got here, you know, my low key beef with the church was like, okay, you taught us about the Holy Spirit, which is amazing. It's a great feeling. What about the other spirits? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What about the other spirits? I mean, we, we talk about how magic and voodoo and hoodoo is, you know, wrong and it is not ordained by God. But if you really, if you take your emotions out of it and look at things logically, the Bible is full of magic and sorcery. If that was the case, Jesus was a whole sorcerer walking around this thing, you know, walking on water, turning water into wine, feeding folks, you know, with a uh, fish and five loaves of bread. Like he, he was a whole sorcerer healing people by they touching his garment. He's healing. Like he was a whole, you know, sorcerer. If, if you want to go there and think that it's bad. Um, so I'm, I'm not here to, to change anybody's way of thinking when it comes to that mm -hmm. it will come to you when god sees fit that it's ready for him to for you to reveal that truth okay and so what you're saying is it's going to look different for everybody that walk that journey the journey of getting seeing. there okay yes it's going to be different but once you're there and i don't know if you all have seen that video of dick gregory talking about it like who <laughs> once those glasses are put on and you see this world for what it is you can't take them off. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm here to tell you that this is a simulation. This really is The Matrix. If you have never watched the movie The Matrix, watch the first Matrix. It, it, it's, it may look like a film, but it's really a documentary. And <laughs> you can manifest everything that you want in life. Like there's cheat codes in this life. You can literally have whatever you want. It starts here. You've got to change your mindset because your thoughts really do create your reality. And I am a firsthand witness to that since being on this journey. Manifestation is instant. I can think about something and it will manifest itself. And don't let me speak it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Like, and you women, women, y'all are manifesting generators. You all are everything. Do you understand me? Y'all are everything. You create thoughts, ideas, you birth life. Mm -hmm. A man can't do that. Yeah. Y'all are the power. I believe that. I definitely believe that. <laughs> yes. Well, KG, I, this, I, this is a topic that I know that we could talk about oh, for a long period of time. Hours and hours. And it would be so, I, I would love to have this conversation with other people so that they can ask their questions because I may not be asking the right questions that will really answer some of, the, some of what other people may be thinking, but I love hearing you talk about this. I love seeing the light in you. So you. it is just, it's just amazing. So thank, thank you, you so much for joining me no, today. Thank you for having me. Like, this, this was awesome. <laughs> and if you are looking to tap into your highest power, be your best self, then all you have to do is just look within. It is already within you. Thank you so much for tuning in today to My 40 Plus Life, and I will see you next week.